Hello, I'm Sami Zaydan. These are the top stories here in Al Jazeera. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is alleging a group of people intent on causing violence boarded the Mavi Marmara illegally as it was on its way to Gaza laden with aid. Nine activists were shot dead during the raid and on Sunday thousands of Turks took to the streets in protest. An Al Jazeera producer on the ship said there was no opportunity for people to secretly board as Mr Netanyahu alleges. The only possibility for such a thing to happen would be if an aircraft was taken and it dropped people on board. And the only aircraft that was actually taken and dropped people on board was an Israeli military one, and it dropped soldiers that ended up killing people. So aside from that, um, I think, it, or I firmly believe it was impossible for anyone other than those that were screened by the authorities and cleared by the authorities to be on board that ship. Well, two of Afghanistan's key government officials have resigned over a breach of security at last week's Jirga peace gathering. Both the country's intelligence chief and interior minister were summoned by President Karzai to explain how Taliban fighters were able to launch rockets at the meeting. An Al Jazeera exclusive highlights the difficulties facing Afghan officials trying to negotiate with the Taliban. In parts of the country, like Nuristan, the Taliban don't want to talk because they believe they're winning. The Islamic Emirate has a rule. While the foreign forces are here, no representatives are allowed to attend any jirgas or any talks. After the foreign troops leave, Afghans can sit and talk together. At least 15 people have been injured in a stampede during a football game in South Africa. The incident is a blow to that country's efforts to host a trouble-free World Cup. Police battle to control football fans eager to get into the 12,000-seat stadium. Nigeria and North Korea were playing a friendly match at the time. Well, at least four bomb attacks in and around Baghdad have claimed at least six lives and left dozens injured. The worst of them when a suicide bomber blew up a car outside a police station in the south of the city. And don't forget, you can watch Al Jazeera online. Just head over to our website, aljazeera.net forward slash English, and click on the Watch Now icon. Those are the headlines on Al Jazeera. I'm Sami Zaydan. Thanks for joining us.